Hello folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. So today's course we have got Atlantic Inn and Beach Club and this is by J.W. Fickett. And what I've done here, I'm actually going to play in the rain because I don't think I've actually had a course in the rain. Uh, so what I've done, I think it's a, a Lynx course. So we've got the fairways on firm, the greens on firm, the green speed is fast, time of day is noon. And we've got a bit of rain, wind speed is medium and the wind direction is a default. Uh, we're playing off the black tees, which is 7,085 yards. And let's get cracking. Okay, hole one, 442 yards, par four, stroke index eight. Now, I meant to play this when it first came out. It came out at the end of September, I believe, and it just totally slipped my mind. Uh, Mr. Fickett actually PM'd me the other day and asked me if I'd have a little go at it. And it so I said, oh yeah, shit, I forgot about that. I actually meant to play it. <laughs> so we're playing it now. Okay, what we got here? Hole one, 442 yards, par four, stroke index eight. And let's get a little look around. Okay, if any of you've played TGC one, you probably have heard of JW Fickett. I don't think he designed any courses in TGC two. I can't remember any if he did, but he doesn't design many courses, but when he does bring one out, be sure to play them because they're very, very good courses, very exceptional courses, to be honest. Okay, looks very nice. As I said, Lynx course, there's not a lot to look at in Lynx courses. They're usually pretty sort of open. Okay. Let's get back down on the tee. Let's move my cursor out of the way. Let's put, hold on, let's put the HUD back on. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay, so what do we say here? Let's move my keyboard back in. K01, 442 yards par four, stroke index eight. Okay, we're at 10 mile an hour in, coming in from the left hand edge, left hand side. Some nice bunkers there, nice terrain work. Nice planting of grasses as well. Okay, looks like a nice first hole. So let's just try and hit one up here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> slow, slow. Wow. Okay, let's just see if we can get this bloody temple sorted out. That's not a good first shot, is it? Still, not bad, 278 yards. Now, I can barely see the rain. So you ain't going to see this on YouTube, no chance. I just wonder, I just hope it gets a little bit heavier. I mean, look, even put my rainy gear on. Okay, 163, it's playing about 165-ish, round about. Okay, we've got, still got 10 mile an hour coming in from the left-hand side. So about 165. Okay. I'm going to down loft this just a little touch. That should be good. Okay, that's better. Okay, the wind just bring it around. Oh, don't hit that slope. Do not hit that slope. It's hit that slope. <laughs> God damn it. That bloody wind. Now with the rain as well, you can I, I can barely see it actually. There's a little trail. It leaves on the green as well. Actually shows up better when you've got like a darker sort of green, darker texture. Okay, so what we've got here? 47 feet or one foot up. So everything's going kind of left to right here. Okay, one foot up. Right, come on, start turning from your bolt. That's not a bad effort, that'll do. Got a nice little sort of short putt for the par. We'll save the par anyway. Oh, round the hole. <laughs> well, let's try and get the swing sorted out here. Okay, hole two, 382 yards, par four, stroke index 12. Okay, nice big bunker there, right in the middle of the fairway. Sort of cuts into the fairway. K 
Okay, Pint is on the left hand side of the, the green. We should be able to clear this bunker. I'm just going to aim kind of to the left hand edge here. And the wind should hold it back in towards the right. Okay, that's better. That's a nice strike. Oh yeah, JW Fickett, uh, a couple of courses he did on TGC1. Very, very good courses. Um, Centennial, Golf, uh, Centennial Oak Golf Club and the Conservative Club. I had to look up because I remember some of the courses he did. They were absolutely fantastic. Okay, nice bunkers. Nice, nice design bunkers here. Nice sort of looking as well. With the grasses all the way along the top. So I really wish HB could sort these bloody transitions out. I mean, it's better than TGC1 and TGC2 was, but there's, there's still just a, like a big line there, look. You know what I mean? They should just blend and mould into each other, I think. Okay, anyway. We're on 68 yards. And we've got 68 yards with the gap wedge. So let's put a little bit of loft on this. Should slow it down, I hope, when it hits the green. As you see there, when I take my shot, if you look closely, um, oh, that's not bad, is it? You see like there, like a splash when the club hits the fairway. That's pretty cool. Okay, that went actually further than I thought. This might be a tough little putt as well. Actually 12 foot past the hole, that. 12 foot, one inch up. Now oh, this should not turn too much. Okay, we get the birdie. That's good. Yeah, I mean, if they say rain, you'd expect them to, to chuck it down. <laughs> See it a bit better. It's just like spitting at the moment. Okay, hole three. Oh, nice short par four. This one, 300 yards, par four, stroke index 18. Okay, another really nice big bunker all the way up the sort of front of the green here. Well, the front is more to the right-hand side, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, nine mile an hour wind, so this actually should slow the ball down a bit, but it's actually turning it a little bit right, so I'm going to aim up towards here. Okay, that's a lovely strike. Wind's pushing it exactly where I wanted it. But it's going to be pretty much past the pin, I think. That needs to bite. Okay, it's slowing up, it's slowing down. That's not bad, so that sets us up for the new go. Wow, 15 feet, oh, one foot down. Wow, one foot down. So I'm just gonna tap this. Let's look, I'm gonna just tap it towards this marker here. I mean, it doesn't look that far away, but if it is one foot down, this should actually, the slope should actually take it from here. Oh, I could have moved that a little bit. Oh, that was a bit tentative, wasn't it? I think I was actually on the slope. But we'll get the birdie. Could have put a little bit more pace in that one. That's a sad looking rainbow though, isn't it? Okay, hole four. 581 yards, par four, stroke index 14. Okay, and I do believe that J.W. Fickett was one of the founding members of TGC Tours as well. I'm sure it was Doily Tim and J.W. Fickett. I can't remember his, his name, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure I might be wrong. I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, but I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure he was the one of the founding members of TGC Tours. Okay, 581 yards, par 5, stroke index 14. I do like this sort of body of water going up here. It's a nice planting. Natural looking all the way up the edge. Okay, I'm actually going to aim right at this bunker here. Again, the wind should draw it back into the fairway for us. And a little bit of a pool left as well, but that should be fine. It's a nice big fairway. Yeah, that's, that'll do lovely. Yeah, you practice, mate, because you need it. Yeah, they could put a bit more colour in that, that bloody rainbow, couldn't they? I can only see a bit of red and a 
A little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. <laughs> okay, 237. So that's playing about 243. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to hit it with the one eye on here. It should hit the, the upslope and sort of kill the ball. If it rolls back down, then we've got a flop shot or a pitch uh, or a chip even. And if it goes on the green, then <laughs> we're in for a hell of a putt. But I think it might hit this upslope. I'm hoping it does. Oh, come on. Hit yeah, bloody slow. Yeah, hits the upslope. Heads towards the bunker. I didn't want that. Oh, look at that. Right on the blooming edge. Oh, 71 to a 78%. 18 yards. So it's playing about 20. So I'm actually going to go with a flop here. 24. A little bit of loft on it as well. Big slope. Okay, let's try and get the perfect perfect with this. And we get it. Wow, that slope. Didn't even move at all. That's exactly where I aimed. Okay, let's see if we can hope we get this blooming birdie. Okay, 10 foot, hole one inch up. Nice view that right across the, the course there. You see the rainbow. Oh, and we get the birdie. Nice. Okay, hole five, 464 yards, part four, stroke index six. Okay, that tree is actually looking like it's stopping us from cutting that corner there. Again, nice big bunkers. Pins right at the front, sort of edge of the green here. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, I think though, well, with this wind, we could probably aim round about here. I can see the rain now. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> they should make it a bit more defined, I think. Yeah, that should be good. That wind should push it back into the fairway for us. Yeah, that's fine. Nice shot. Just skims past that tree, that. Okay, 311 yard drive. It looks like we're on a bit of a left to right slope here. Again, watch, uh, watch, with the, watch the ball here. Uh, in the rain, you'll see it like a little splash if you haven't seen uh, rain play yet. Okay, 128. It's playing about 127. Okay, 128. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to go with the pitching wedge. I'm going to go... Full loft virtually on this. I want it to stop pretty quick. Oh, slow. Come off it. Oh, that was not a very good shot, to be honest. <laughs> okay, that leaves us 22 feet. One inch down. Right, there's not much of a turn on this at all. Boom, and we get it. Nice one. Another birdie. That was a nice putt. K hole six, 456 yards, par four, stroke index four. Again, nice big bunker going all the way up the right hand side of the fairway here. You can see all the little sort of humps and bumps on the fairway as well. Okay, pin is on the left edge. Toward the left hand side of the green. Okay, nice big open fairway. Shouldn't have any trouble here. Just smash one up the middle. That'll do. Okay, 324 yard drive. Again, we're on a left to right slope here. See, that's what I like. Yeah, I like courses like this. You're not on a flat lie all the time. 
a matter of fact, I should actually be looking at the fairway and looking for little flat spots. There always is little flat spots that you can get to. Okay, 124, playing about 126. We've got the gap wedge. That should be fine, I reckon, without wind. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. Again, let's move over to the left-hand side a bit. Hopefully this slope works this time, because it didn't coming out of that bunker. Okay, that's nice. Perfect, perfect. All depends on distance now. And that should be good. Little skip and stop. Yeah, that slope hardly did anything there as well. Okay, nine feet. Uh oh. A little bit pacey for that break. I had a little break on it. That was just a little bit too pacey. And as soon as I hit the ball, that. Again, just not concentrating, fool. But like I said, guys, uh, many, many, many times in these videos, I really don't. It doesn't matter what I score. I'm just, just like showing the courses off. You know what I mean? And it's a pretty nice course. Again, nice bunker work here. Okay, you got kind of a little backstop behind the green here, right at the back here. So that should be good. Two hundred eight, playing about two oh nine. I think we'll go with a five iron. That should be good. It's, it's still going to run when it hits the green. If it hits the green, we'll down loft it just a little tiny touch. There's that little crookedy bit right at the top of my swing again. Oh no, that is short. That is well short. How is that that bloody short? <laughs> Should have been that short. Okay, 19 feet, played about 21. I'm gonna go with the 24 yard flop here. Again, we're on a left to right slope here, but it's hardly bloody moving, is it, with these slopes? So let's just aim at a little path, a little bit left of the pin here. Oh, that's not bad though. Stop, stop, stop. A fast and a slow. So we should hopefully save the par here. Oh ho ho, did the side door. Okay, couple of little pars that. Little par run. Okay, coming up to the eighth. 537 yards, par five, stroke index at 16. Okay, you got a couple of little boats and things over there, a little dock. A nice big open fairway, lovely bunker work. Let's have a little look over here, shall we? Oh, get up there. Okay, oh, seaplane as well, that's mine. That looks nice. Nice saw. Sort of nice retaining wall going across there as well. Little steps going back up. So that's a, a clubhouse. I hate this bloody uh, trying to look around when it's still on the scout cam. It's really horrible. Okay, so we've got here nine mile an hour wind coming in from about two o'clock. So if I aim towards this bunker here, it should just turn it a little bit for us. Okay, that should be fine. Now, can we reach this? Ooh, big kick there. Okay, 231. And one foot up. Now, we need to get up this top slope here. I think the one iron should do it. You know, we've got that bit of wind. We should have to get quite a bit of roll on this green. God, I hit a good one here, though. Okay, that's good. Now this actually should slow the ball down a bit for me. And run up towards the hole. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh, get in there. My first albatross on TGC 2019. Woohoo! <laughs> Gotta save that, guys. Okay, hole nine, 396 yards, par four, stroke index 10. I will let the fly by. Uh, finish first before I go back and save that. 
Albatross. Woohoo! Nice big bunker there in the middle of the fairway. Nice grasses and that planted around it as well. Looks very nice. Okay, guys, let me just save this and we can watch it again, I suppose. It's worth it, isn't it, don't you think? <laughs> Look at that one iron. Boom, hits the upslope, slows it down, heads right towards the pin, and boom. Beauty. 231 yards. Albatross. Uh, change. Do, do, do. Camera angle. There we go. Yep, just on the upslope. Slows it right down. Yes. Okay, let's save that. Okay, replay options. We'll favourite that. And confirm. Nice one. Okay, 396 yards, par 4, stroke index 10. The wind is coming in from the right hand side here. I don't know if we'll clear that bunker with that wind. Let's have a look. Ooh, so I'm going to aim sort of to the left hand edge of the bunker and hopefully the ball will land right about over here somewhere. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, that was, oh, that was so close. Yeah, I don't, yeah, we wouldn't have covered that. We wouldn't have um, got over the top, I don't think. Okay, 306 yards. Leave us on a little slope, 93. Yeah, so we've got the lob wedge here. I'm going to down loft it just a bit to counteract that wind. Oh, it's a fast, no. Okay, that's a nice big shared green, this one. Now, where the hell did this land? Obviously, it's went left of the pin. And uh, that's catching a slope. Oh, where are you going, ball? Come on, stop. Why did I have to hit it fast? Oh, ho, ho, ho. This could be a tough putt. Okay, what well, we've got? 35 feet, one foot up. Everything's turning left to right. Shouldn't turn too much though. Oh, again, just under hit that, but that'll do it. That'll give us a par putt. Okay, we get the par that. Okay, a little par three here. Hole 10, 136 yards. Par three, stroke in the next nine. I do like the short par threes, I really do. It's a nice looking hole as well. Nice planted grasses. Nice view of the green. Yeah, we've got these sort of little hillocks right at the back. The grasses as well, and a couple of little trees. It does look very nice. Okay, nine mile an hour. Uh, sort of tailwind. Okay, so this is playing what, 113, bit of sand wedge, 113. Do you know what, I think that might be just a little, little bit of loft, I think. Oh, just push that out to the right. That distance would have been spot on as well if I didn't push that. Okay, nine foot, one inch up. Yep, so that shouldn't turn hardly at all here. Oh, did I hit that enough? Come on, I did. Just, just enough. Okay, hole 11, 618 yards, par 5. Stoke index 15. Okay, quite a long par 5, this one. Okay, nice bunkers dotted all the way up this sort of right hand edge here. And then we're going to get a few up in the right hand as well. Nice break in the fairway with this sort of planting of trees. 
Okay, nice big steep face bunkers there as well. You don't want to be in that. And look at the sort of humps and bumps on this green. Okay, drive up that ship. You find, well, aim sort of towards here and it should just pull it over a little bit for us. As I said, we're not going to reach the green two anyway. So we're going to be laying up on our second shot. Again, a view of the bunker at the rainbow there. Yeah, the, the rainbow could be a bit wider, I think. Okay, 294. So if I hit this about 190 yards, it's going to leave us 100 yards to the pin. So let's go with that. That should leave us a full shot into the green while I have a little swig of my coffee. But we are on an upslope. Okay, 95, played about 98. Right, oh, I'm actually going to move us to the left because I think the wind is going to overpower this slope because a couple of shots I've had on these slopes and it's done bugger all. Okay, what did I say? 98. Down lot. No, I don't. No, I don't even have to because you're going to get a little skip forward. Come on, wind. Now the slope bloody takes effect, doesn't it? <laughs> bloody HB. Oh, that's going to trickle off, I think. Come on. Is it? Yes, it is. Damn it. Yeah, that's two or three shots. This slope never took hardly any effect at all. So the next shot I play for it, and the slope does take effect. <laughs> uh, okay, 10 yards, one foot up. Pretty straight, but I used to pull my chips a little bit to the left. Uh, to the, yeah, to the left, so I'm going to aim it to the left here. I should have said, I hit them to the right. <laughs> so I'm going to aim it to the left. Oh, I'm confusing myself now. Right, nine yards. I'm going to put a bit of loft on this. I want it to stop. Oh, look at that line. Bloody hell. Not that much. As I see that, look, pushed it way to the right. A little bit more left. I should have had that. Okay, a little tap in. Damn, a little bit underwhelmed with this rain, to be honest. Could have still worn my bloody t-shirts and shorts. K hole 12, 408 yards. Par 4, stroke index 7. K, one of the sort of thinnest fairways we've seen so far. Yeah, the pin is right over in this left hand edge here. Okay, I'm going to aim just towards this mound. Even if it does hit this mound, I reckon it'll bounce off it anyway and put us back on the fairway. The wind should bring it around. Bang on. Nice big kick over to the left-hand side. It puts us down in this little kind of a hollow here and it should be a, a nice flat lie, it looks like. Not bad at all. Okay, 122. It's playing about 124. So let's down loft this, counteract that wind. Now have a down lofted it enough. That's not bad. Still is going to leave us about what, 10 feet? 11 feet. Yeah, I could have down lofted that just a little touch more. All right, this should not turn much at all. And we get the birdie. Nice. I do like the sort of overcast and the sort of rainy sort of the sky. The hangout does look nice. K hole 13, 470 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. Okay, the fairway just sort of turns a little bit to the right here, just as it hits these two bunkers either side of the fairway. We've got a couple of bunkers just heading up towards the green. The green is in a good position here. Got plenty of room around it. K 
Okay, again, I'm just going to aim right at this edge here. As you see, the wind's just pushing a little bit left, so that should be fine. Nice, beautiful strike, that one. Again, that should give us a nice flattish lie, it looks like. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, 170. It's playing about 175. Let's go up to the six iron, shall we? Six iron. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna actually put some loft on this. Don't have much loft though. Hmm. Let's tell you what, I'm actually going to put more loft on it. Virtually full loft on this. Now, is this, let's have a look. How was the distance? That's not bad at all, actually. That is not bad. Yep, yeah, just pulled it again to the left. Okay, 16 feet, 2 inches up. Uh, it's got a little bit of a turn on it. Left to right. Come on, turn. <gasps> I never under hit it. Wow, come on. And it's not the rain that's doing that. <laughs> I mean, the greens are pretty fast. 163, I put them on fast. I'm going to have to start putting them on very fast. Because I really do like putting on fast greens. To me, TGC2, this would be kind of a medium speed green. Got like 180. 187 might be a little bit too fast, but I do prefer the fast greens. If you put me on slow greens, I'm all over that. I ain't got a bloody clue um, how to put. <laughs> it just feels dead. Um, so how can you put it? Uh, sloppy, sloggy. It just doesn't roll right, I don't think. Sluggish, that's the word. <laughs> okay, 194. It's playing about 192. But we've got that wind there. So... Oh, that's way too much. I'm actually going to down loft this a bit. Come on. There's a little upslope there. I needed to get up it, and it hasn't. It's going to come back down. Damn. Yeah, that uh, the five hybrid was way too much. It's the only um, iron I could have went with. The only club. That is one tough putt. That is one hell of a hill. Three feet up. Wow. Oh. Blue Let's have a look. Okay, there's not much of a turn on it though. It's not turning hardly at all. All the way up. Let's have a look. So it's got a bit of a turn there, more turn uh, straight off the club head. But the pace I'm going to be hitting this, that shouldn't really affect it. Okay. So what did I say? 54. Three feet up. That's what? 12, 24, that's 36. Wow. I have to give this a right smack. Uh oh, not that hard though. Jesus. <laughs> that was almost a full swing. Oh, starting to lose it. Okay, we might end up with a bogey here. 20 feet past the hole. Bluminek. Two inches down. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, whew, that was close. So we're going to end up with a bogey here. I don't care. I've got an albatross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, that was that, that putt over there. Oof. Bit of a head rush, that one. KO 15, 400 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. 
Okay, nice big bunker there on the left-hand side of the fairway. Oh, that's a tough little pin position, that one. Tucked right in by that, that bunker. There's not a very big hole, so that's okay. So you're going to end up with a, like a flop shot in there. So that's fine. <gasps> it's a slow. Don't go to the right. Now, if you look at the top marker there, the blue box, it's not far off it, so it hardly moves it. And even though that, that's not a perfect perfect, if that's not a perfect perfect, that should be in that rough, I think. They just need to tighten the, the game up a bit off the tee. As I said, ooh, 66 yards. I think we can go with this. Oh, this is, oh, this is close. This might end up in the bunker. Get the perfect perfect. That'll do that. That's, that's not bad. It's about as good as I could do that. The only thing in going with the pitch, the, the pitch shots, you, you still get a, quite a bit of roll on them. So I probably would have been better sort of laying up short with a three wood or a five wood and going for a full shot. Or, yeah, you couldn't get any closer for the flops. It's, you had to go for a full shot there. So probably would have been better hitting a five wood or a three wood off the tee. Okay, three inches down. Oh, nice one. We get it. Makes up for that terrible putt on the last hole. K hole 16, 363 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. I do love the Lynx courses though. A lot of people don't like them because they're pretty bland and kind of open. And I've got all the sort of fancy bells and whistles that a lot of these fantasy courses have, but I do like a Lynx course. Maybe it's because I'm Scottish. <laughs> okay, plenty of room up here, so we should just bang one up here. There's that sad rainbow. It looks not too bad from there. I mean, you just seen the, the sort of right hand edge of it and a bit more color to it. Okay, 88, it's playing about 93. So I reckon we can go with a normal shot here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, what did I say, 93. 108 was sand Hmm. Let's put a little bit of loft on the sand wedge. I can't wind hold this ball up for me. That's not bad at all. A little bit of a spin back on that there. Okay, eight foot. Turn you bugger. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. Excuse my language. <laughs> K hole 17, 172 yards, par 3, stroke index 3. Another sort of mid range par 3, this. I quite like that. You get some of these designers that put par 3s in, they're all over 200 yards. Okay, right at the edge of the coastline, this one, right in the corner. You see the coastline goes right around here. There's that bloody scout cam again. It's horrible, it, is. it really is. Freaking, where the hell am I there? Where's the, oh, where's, where's the hell's the hole? Ah, here it is over here. K203. Hey, ah, that's why. 172 is the center of the green, so it's playing 203. And we're gonna go with a five iron here. That wind is pretty strong though. How's this green? It's not too bad. Pretty flattish. Got a little bit of a... This edge is sort of running away to the right, but if I get to about here, it sort of turns around into the, the left. But that wind... Okay, I'm going to have to aim about here, I reckon. Let's put a little bit of loft on this. Okay, nice strike. Come on, wind. Push, 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 push. That should be good. Just to run up, come on, 
Run up. Go on, baby. Turn, turn. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice shot. Leave us a little tap in for the birdie. Woo -woo. Okay, hole 18, 564 yards, par 5, stroke index 17, final hole, right up the coastline here, lovely sort of beach work is done. As the rainbow just goes over the top of the clubhouse, yeah that's nice beach work, all the way up. Very nice. There's a little practice green in the back of the clubhouse there. Is that the big shared green? Yeah, isn't it? Yep. There's the other pin up there. Okay. The wind's with us this time, so we should reach this in two. I mean, look at that, that um, swing. It's a little pull to the right, but that just went sort of straight, right down the middle. Quite a big drive. 331 yards. Okay, you've got 10 mile an hour tailwind here. 233 is playing 234. We'll go with f five hybrid or the five iron. We'll see, so you've got a little bit of upslope there. If I go with the five iron, I might not actually reach the green. Oh, look at this little hump. That's going to push the ball away as well. Oh, this could be tough. Uh, so I just go with a five hybrid? I reckon so. Oh, I thought I hit slow there. See, that's going to push to the right now. Yep. Yeah, tough, tough little pin that. Even though it's a, even though you're reaching the green too, it just kind of takes you away. As you see all that slope all the way up there, really had to sort of hit the ball up here somewhere. Okay, but well let's just try and get close and see if we can pick up the birdie. Nice view of the clubhouse there. Okay, well we've got 36 feet or one foot up. Right, let's have a look. Right, it's going right to left here quite a lot. Quite a big turn on it here. Okay, what did I say? 36 and one foot up. So let's try that. That's not a bad effort, not too bad at all. That leaves us a kind of shortish putt for the final hole on Atlantic Inn and Beach Club. I say this all the time, then I miss it. <laughs> That'll look like a twat. All right, five foot or one inch down. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Nice one. That's a very nice course, really nice links course. That's Atlantic Inn and Beach Club by J.W. Fickett. Certainly give it a play, guys. It's uh, certainly worth the play. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. And if you wish to subscribe, please do so if you haven't already. Uh, it really does help and very much appreciated. And if you do subscribe, there's a little notification bell there. If you hit that, uh, you will be notified any time I upload a video to YouTube. And also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle will be in the description of the video. And again, Anytime I upload a video to YouTube, you will be notified on Twitter. So there you go, minus 7 on the front 9, minus 5 on the back 9, gives us 12 under. But look at that, hole 16, an albatross, get in there. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.